Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Hon. I know I've been talking about COVID vaccine for many weeks now, and this week actually I want to change the topic a little bit to talk about a future oral medication that are specific for COVID and why this could be a game changer for all of us. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I teach full-time in a US pharmacy school and I'm a pharmaceutical scientist. The goal for my channel is to connect everyone with scientific fact and very recently this channel just hit 1000 subscribers and I'm very very thankful for all of you that have already subscribed. So if you want to follow more on the scientific fact, things that I present including COVID-19 update and other drug related topics, please consider hitting the subscribe button and this channel need your help to reach more people. So in today's focus talk, we are going to look at what can we expect for future COVID-19 treatment. First, a disclaimer, this video is my summary and interpretation of publicly available scientific information. This video does not serve as any intention to give advice on treatment diagnosis and prevention of any diseases. And if I mention any commercial companies in my videos, I do not have affiliations with them. Let's first look at the background information first. Pfizer uh, initiated a phase 1 study of an oral medication for COVID-19 back in the middle of February. The study including a drug or compound named PF07321332. I'll just call it the drug from this point on. Now the study includes 60 healthy adult participants aged between 18 to 60 years old. It was a randomized double-blind sponsored open placebo control study. It evaluated the safety and tolerability of the drug and as well as looking at pharmacokinetics parameter of the drug. Now pharmacokinetics means looking at the drug plasma level and what the body does to the drug. So this week's focus central question is what do we know about the potential new oral drug for COVID from Pfizer? And to answer this question, let's look at the sub-question. The first one being, what is important for the coronavirus viral life cycle? How does this drug work? Why this drug could be a game changer in the near future? And lastly, what are the challenges ahead? In fact, number one, let's look at what is important for the virus to live on for their life cycle. So let's take a look of the viral cycle in a very simplistic term. Here we have the virus again, and to simplify the graph, I just put down the genetic material, which is a piece of RNA genetic material in the virus. After it invade host cell, meaning our cells, it will release its genetic material, and this messenger RNA will be translated into a polypeptide or a long piece of protein inside our cell. And the virus also have proteases, which are the enzymes that can chop up these little polypeptide to form small functional protein. And these proteins could be a very important structural component for the virus to form its envelope or spike protein and many other uh, different proteins. So how does this drug work? We just looked at how proteases are very important to form viral protein and the target for this drug is actually to target this main protease called 3CL. Now this drug PF07321332 is a protease inhibitor. When it is mixed into the viral culture, it can actually bind to the virus protease so it inhibits it. Now once it binds to it, it's just like a pet man being stuck with something in their mouth and it will no longer be able to cut up the polypeptide and therefore there will be no functional viral proteins and the virus cannot complete their viral life cycles and they cannot replicate to infect more of our cells. And very importantly, why I said this drug could be a game changer in the near future? 
But the fact is that none of the COVID vaccines right now is 100% effective, and there are also quite a few reports on COVID cases after people fully vaccinated with all kinds of different vaccines, including adenoviral vaccines as well as mRNA vaccines. And other approved COVID treatment currently are all injections, meaning you cannot take it yourself. You have to go to the hospital to get it injected into the body, and this This drug, particularly, is different, is because it is an oral medication, the first one that is specific for COVID-19. Now, this means it could be dispensed in the pharmacy and be taken at home after it is approved in the near future. What is important is that it could. Provide immediate treatment after first diagnosis and could stop future outbreaks very, very quickly. So, if this drug gets approved, it's going to be great. But what are the challenges ahead? Now, we have to understand. Right now, this drug is only in phase one study, and phase one study they do not look at efficacy. They're only looking at safety data, meaning if this drug would harm a healthy individual. So far, the data are quite promising. Now, we have to understand all of the oral drugs are subject to four major challenges, and number one being absorption. How much drug? Can get into the bloodstream. That's why the study is also measuring drug plasma concentrations from the participant. And second is metabolism. All oral drugs are subject to metabolism by the liver. So how much drug would be left after this process? That's something the study trials would have to find out. And third is distribution. How much of the drug that you take by mouth? Now it reaches your stomach, reaches your bloodstream. How much of them will reach the target, meaning the coronavirus, to make it work, or reach your、um, cells that are infected with the virus? That's also a question. And lastly, elimination. How long will the drug stay in the body? And that ties into dosing frequency. Do I need to take this drug one time a day, two times a day, or more times a day? That is some question. All this. Uh, later studies would have to answer and establish. So lastly, the take-home message: Now, Pfizer's experimental oral medication for COVID-19 is in its phase one study. If it gets approved after phase two, phase three, everything looks good, get approved, it would be the first oral therapy that are specific for COVID-19. This drug works by stopping the virus to make functional proteins, so it stops the viral cycles. And there are many pharmacokinetic challenges ahead before. For full approval, and that require phase two and three to look at its efficacy and as well as other safety data. So far, there aren't a lot of news and data regarding this study or this particular drug. I got most of my information from the Pfizer website as well as an article from the. American Chemical Society, and you can also look up the clinical trial from clinicaltrials.gov. I'll provide all these links in the description box down below. So I've mentioned a lot of the pharmaceutical science terms, such as pharmacokinetics, and there are many more that are revolving around how drug works. And I plan to make more content for the general public revolving this topic in the coming months and weeks. And I know you don't want to miss these good contents. And lastly, again, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you again next Sunday. Bye.